Hi guys. All right. Welcome to the School of Acne. I'm your principal, Leah Yu. In each class, we will break down your breakouts and learn why you may have constant breakouts, even though it seems like you tried literally everything. Make sure you check your class schedule and, oh, don't be late to your first class. I'm your resident acne guru, Leah Yu, and today we're gonna start with chemistry class. Today we're gonna learn about why your acne skincare routine might not be working. So students, if you have any questions, please. So I had acne for years, went to dermatologists, got laser treatments, got prescribed antibiotics, cream, and also the pills. I was on birth control. I bought a million different products, but nothing seems to be working. So I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong. I'm really lost here. Trust me, I've been there, done that. Like I had acne in my mid twenties. It was not a fun journey. And these are some things that I have tried that didn't really work. So let's begin by talking about what you might be currently using that's not working. Some of these may work for you and for others it may not. So it definitely requires some trials and errors, but let's get into our experiment, but don't forget safety first. Number one, harsh treatments. This includes those really gratifying physical scrubs like walnut shells, we've all been there, and also chemical peels, especially the high percentage, like I'm talking about 30% AHA that you wanna do at home in hopes for a dramatically clear result instantly. But you gotta know that it's doing more harm than good. It's stripping your natural oils and damaging your skin barrier, which is the number one skin ingredient that we actually wanna protect. And it creates this kind of vicious cycle of you wanting to rely on these products more and more and more, and it never ends. Next, we have benzoyl peroxide, which is an over-the-counter drug that you can easily find in America. And what does this do? This actually kills the acne-causing bacteria. It unclogs pores. It also sheds the dead skin cells. So it sounds amazing, and I've used way too many benzoyl peroxide products, including acne face wash, the gel, a moisturizer, also a spot treatment that's like a 10% benzoyl peroxide. What did it do? It made my skin really papery thin. More side effects include dryness, redness, peeling, itchiness, stinging, swelling of the skin, and also causing more oxidative stress. Benzoyl peroxide is known to generate more free radicals in the skin that can interfere with and slow down the skin's healing process, which is crucial for acne skin. Next, we have antibiotics. This comes in a pill form, a medication that you ingest internally, and also a topical form that you can apply like a lotion. I've tried both, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have tried it too because dermatologists and your doctor can easily prescribe antibiotics. It can be really effective when it comes to removing the acne-causing bacteria, but it definitely has consequences when used long-term. It can easily disrupt the natural balance of the bacteria internally and externally. And in worst case, you can also develop antibiotic resistance, which leads to more infection and other issues down the road. So I would highly recommend you guys to consult with your dermatologist to shorten the period as much as possible. Their side effects can outweigh the benefits to some individuals, making it less than perfect solutions for treating acne. Next, we have oil-free products. I don't know about you guys, but I grew up with skincare commercials for acne that are literally all oil-free products, but it couldn't be further from the truth. Oily, acne-prone skin is actually deficient in a very specific fatty acid called linoleic acid. So when you have a linoleic acid deficiency, your sebum becomes like really thick and gloopy, waxy, and super pore cloggy. And that's why you would have more acne. Another thing when you're using oil-free products is that your skin is very dry, so it will naturally promote the oil production. So you're pumping out more sebum and more oil that can lead to more breakouts. Next, you're probably using a lot of products all at once. When I had acne, I was really desperate to clear my skin. Therefore, I was bought into all of these dramatic fixes like instant results and miracle acne solutions. So I bought so many products. I used like 14 products at once. And of course, my skin hated it. And of course, it was more sensitizing, leading to more inflammation. Now that we've gone over some of the ingredients and product treatments that you shouldn't be using, let's talk about what we should be doing instead. Number one, 
less is more. By simplifying your skincare routine, you're really giving less potential and less chance of irritation and developing sensitivity. When your skin is already really sensitive and very inflamed, less is better. When it comes to choosing products, we're gonna focus on choosing gentle, hydrating, and calming products. For this period, when your skin is super inflamed and sensitive, I'm gonna ask you to avoid fragrance and essential oils. Not that these are bad ingredients, but this can add a chance to further sensitize your skin. We're gonna stick to a very simple and short ingredient list. Does it have like 100 different ingredients or does it have like 10 to 20 ingredients? The shorter and the simpler, the better. We're gonna stop using actives for a while, but instead we're gonna choose super hydrating ingredients that your skin barrier really likes. Our goal is to create the best environment for your skin barrier to do its job, which is to repair your skin and also protect your skin. The ingredients you want to look for is Sika, aloe vera, oats, mugwort. These are all gentle and hydrating and also very calming ingredients. So these are the products that I absolutely love. First off, we have the Innisfree Aloe Soothing Gel. This I keep in the fridge and I use this as like a wash off mask. It instantly cools down your skin. Aloe vera is super soothing and it's gonna be great for acne prone skin. Next we have the Uriage Barrier Derm Sika Daily Serum. This product is packed with all the Sika ingredients that's gonna help repair your skin, soothe and calm your skin. Crave Beauty Oats Simple Water Cream. Fewer than 10 ingredients, packed with oat extract, which is super calming and soothing. Isentree Mugwort Ampule, which is my recent favorite. And this is also really great for oily acne prone skin. I think it also helps manage the sebum production while also calming your skin. You know why your skin really likes? Oils, especially linoleic acid. Now, linoleic acid really helps your sebum production and balances it out, so making your skin less oily, and it can help transform your sebum's texture to fluid, really lubricating, and less comedogenic. It also helps clarify pores, which is an added benefit, and therefore, you might want to supplement that and replenish it topically. So oils to look for that are higher in linoleic acid, rose of seed oil, hemp seed oil, safflower oil, grape seed oil, these are super light, fast absorbing oil that are really, really great for oily, acne prone skin. Oil for oily, acne prone skin, you can use 100% rose of seed oil or a product that contains all of these ingredients that are higher in linoleic acid. Crave Beauty Oil Law is formulated for acne, breakup prone skin, formulated with those linoleic acid high oils such as rose hip seed oil, shiyunku oil, and this is also packed with Sika ingredients, peptides for skin healing. But there are also oils to be a little bit cautious of, and these tend to be higher in oleic acid, which actually determines the thickness of the oil, such as olive oil, sesame oil, macadamia oil, and avocado oil, but also those matters. So just because you see these ingredients in a skincare formula, it doesn't mean the formula is gonna be comedogenic. Now, the next thing that's super beneficial for acne prone skin that doesn't get a lot of attention is actually antioxidant. Now this includes vitamin C, E, and all sorts of vitamins, green tea, propolis, a lot of superfoods, coenzyme Q10. These are great for acne prone skin. Why? Because your sebum can also oxidize. When your sebum is in contact with the UV rays or environmental stressors, free radicals, it can oxidize and that process is called lipid peroxidation, and that can turn your sebum into something that's more waxy and gloopy and super comedogenic. By adding antioxidants topically, it's gonna really help prevent that lipid peroxidation process. So these are the products that I recommend that has high percentage of antioxidants. So Crave Beauty Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser for a face wash and Beauty of Joseon Green Tea Serum that's also packed with panthenol, which is skin hydrating. Next we have Jimiso VCIP 1.0 Firming Serum that's packed with vitamin C derivative called VCIP or Ascorbyl Tetra Isopomizate. This product uses a vitamin C derivative, so it's gonna be much gentler than using a straight up pure ascorbic acid. So I recommend this for sensitive skin. Last but not least, we have Skin Food Propolis Essence, which has been my holy grail for a long time, especially when I had acne. This product contains high percentage of honey and propolis, and propolis really is a great antioxidant, but it also has benefits like the antiviral, antimicrobial properties, which makes it perfect for acne prone skin. Next, we have SPF. Sunscreen's gonna work really hand in hand with your antioxidants to prevent 
that lipid peroxidation process. And also this is gonna prevent the hyperpigmentation from forming because a lot of times when you have acne, you squeeze it and it's gonna scar pretty easily. And if you apply sunscreen, it's gonna help prevent the hyperpigmentation. SPF products that I recommend that I love, this is one product that we also developed, Create Beauty Vita Sun, SPF 40, which is packed with beetroot extract for antioxidant properties. This is also super lightweight and fast absorbing. If you are looking for a mineral sunscreen, this is a tinted mineral sunscreen from Light Saver. This product applies very seamlessly. It doesn't feel like a chalky, gloopy mineral sunscreen. Therefore, I really, really love this. If you're looking for a Korean sunscreen, Etude Sunjung Director Pie's Moisture Sun Cream is super gentle. It's also packed with Sika ingredients, so it's gonna be great for calming your skin. Next, exfoliate once in a while with chemical exfoliants instead of physical scrubs. Switch to a chemical exfoliant, which includes AHA and BHA. These are gonna be more gentle than physical scrub in really sloughing and shedding your dead skin cells, and it can definitely help prevent breakouts. So I brought two really gentle chemical exfoliants. We're going to start with Crave Beauty Kayla Luya Glycolic Acid 5.25%. This is something that I developed because I had acne and this really helped me. Glycolic acid is like the smallest molecule, so it's super effective. 5% is a pretty low percentage too, so it's not going to be super irritating or sensitize you. So I love using this maybe once a week. If you have super, super, super sensitive skin, definitely look for something called mandelic acid, which has a bigger molecule size, so it's not gonna penetrate deeply into the skin. This is from Dr. Wu, Mandelic Intensive Renewal Serum. It contains 18% mandelic acid, super gentle, and also very hydrating too. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this chemistry class and took notes. If not, that's also fine. You can just like and subscribe to this channel so that you can keep all the information. It looks like you guys are ready to head over to the second class of the day. So I'll see you guys there.